I'm Professor Dorothy Espelage from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Um, I'm also Vice President of Division E of American Educational Research Association, which is um, the division that represents the counseling and human development side of education research. For many years, almost two decades, um, my colleagues and I here at American Educational Research Association have been trying to understand the dynamics behind bullying among children and adolescents and even young adults in post-secondary university settings. And so what we're trying to do here is to identify, you know, how do kids get involved in this, what predicts this, with the ultimate goal of finding out how can we actually prevent it in our schools and our communities. Oftentimes when people think about, you know, academic settings of schools and universities, they're very much focused on testing and academic achievement and, you know, graduation rates. But the bottom line is if kids aren't safe in our schools and if they feel like they're being threatened in some way, um, then they're not going to achieve the highest level that they possibly could. So the, the, the idea, as much as we focus on benchmarking and testing and the ultimate outcomes of grades and test scores, if kids are truant, if they feel unsafe, if they feel like they cannot concentrate because they're being uh, picked on um, because of their race, because of their disability, because of their sexual orientation, because of their immigrant status, the bottom line is that they're not able to achieve the ultimate um, types of ways in which we want them to, to achieve. So we, we really have to focus and begin to understand that the social, uh, emotional aspects of a child's life within the educational systems in our communities it has to be also a focus alongside the academic focus.